Now, developing news in a deadly Virginia Beach triple shooting today. A judge granted bond for one of the suspects. 19-year-old Jaquavis Webb faces robbery and other charges. This is in connection to the shooting on Hiawatha Drive last weekend. Three teens were shot. One died. Any of your sides, John Dowding, learn more about what may have led up to that shooting. John? Well, Tom Webb will prepare for his trial from home after a judge set conditions and granted him to be released on bond. This comes nearly a week after detectives continue to learn more details about his alleged involvement in last weekend's deadly shooting. The family is very, very happy with the outcome today. A judge released 19-year-old Jarquavius Webb on a $25,000 bond almost a week after a triple shooting left one dead and two others seriously injured at the Indian Lakes apartment complex. Webb will be confined to his home and will also have a GPS monitor placed on him as the conditions of his release. Webb previously pled guilty and was released on good behavior for a hit-and-run misdemeanor back in 2020. His attorney, Brian Latuga, applauds the judge's ruling Thursday and says his return home means a lot to his family. So while the facts come out and the investigation plays out by both defense and the prosecution side, is going to be very important to uh, the family's ability to deal with everything that's going on. Virginia Beach detectives also released more information in court today about the events leading up to the shooting. They say Webb was the driver of the car where the other three victims were later shot when they attempted to buy marijuana. Detectives allege he and the now deceased victim planned to rob another suspect, 20-year-old Deval James Jr., when he came up to their car. Police say James was the only one armed and they hadn't recovered any other weapons from the scene. The result where there's a homicide at the end uh, and several people severely wounded uh, is not going to be easy to take. Prosecutors also believe Webb is at fault for setting in motion those events leading up to the shooting. He has a preliminary hearing scheduled for June 3rd and the condition of the other two victims is still unknown at this point. John Dowding, 10 on your side.